Hi, this is Dr. Linda Horton, and this is The Helpful Homeschooler. Today we're going to talk about getting creative with some classes. I'm going to start with PE. A lot of times homeschoolers consider PE, I'm going to go out and let my child run around the yard, and we'll call that PE. And when they're small, absolutely that is perfectly acceptable. When I say small, pre-K, kindergarten, first grade. But as they're getting a little older in those classes, you want to really have a PE time that is not only um, structured, but it's, it's giving them some sort of knowledge. For let's, let's say, for instance, bowling. Bowling is an acceptable PE. If your child is on a bowling league and you're a homeschooler, that's PE. And a lot of times what we think is that we, when we're homeschooling, during the day, that's the only time our kids get credit for homeschooling. Again, I was a very creative homeschool mom. And when my kids did, let's say for instance, uh, Little League, that was PE. When they would go to children's classes at the church, that was a Bible credit. And so don't sell yourself short that the only time you're getting that homeschool credit, or the only time you're getting in those homeschool hours is between the hours of nine and one at home. Um, and a lot of times when you're talking about homeschool hours, I, let, let me clarify that, a lot of places you have to keep track of your days, present or absent, and your hours as to the what is acceptable during the year. 180 days is what the school year terms um, appropriate, 170 are acceptable but there are so many hours that a kindergartner has to do, I wanna say three, and as they get older, the hours are a little more that they need to be in school. And so homeschool moms kind of go crazy. Well, they say, listen, we're done by noon. Okay, but what are they doing in the evening? Are they going to a youth group? That counts, that's Bible study. That counts as part of your curriculum. So let's go back to PE, because I wanna help you. A lot of homeschool moms have a, they have a question because as you get older, when you're doing your college, when you're doing your credits for high school that are going to count for college, they say, I, I don't know what to put down for PE. Well, are they doing baseball? Are they doing softball? Are they doing soccer? Are they doing swimming? Are they doing um, track and field? Are they running? You can do, an, a, a, I love American Ninja Warrior. You can put that in your yard, put, a, put one of those, you know, contraptions in your yard where they go up and down and over. That's PE, they're working hard. So don't sell yourself or your child short by not counting things they're already doing. Um, I said bowling, I said tennis, baseball, football, soccer, softball. Any kind of an organized sport is a PE, any kind. Even swimming, it's, it's, it's a PE. So don't sell your child short. So not only do you have that, but let's say, again, they go to church, that counts, that's, that's Bible. Bible should be taught at home, absolutely, absolutely. But if your child is going to a class, vacation Bible school, whatever they're going to, give them credit for that. If you, I, I'm a big proponent of when we went on vacation, we always did things outside, always did science things. And a lot of times we took vacation in the middle of the year because we could, we homeschooled. I would take books with us, we would school a couple hours, and then we would go out and explore and do. I remember when my kids did mushroom hunting in Indiana. I so counted that as science because not only did they hunt for the mushrooms, then they classified them. And so do not sell your child short on what they're doing and you're not, especially in high school, not giving them the credit. We know there's science, we know there's history, we know there's math, we know there's English. There is also um, mostly uh, most high school seniors have got to have show two years of a foreign language to get into a college. So um, that's another thing. If you need help with that, find somebody that speaks a foreign language. Ask them to tutor your child. Maybe you can barter the situation. Maybe it's somebody in your church. Keep your mind open. But another thing is home ec. Do you know that if you're teaching your child to cook, and you're not doing it as a class, you're doing it, you know, let's do this, you know, we do it once a week. Count that as a class for your child. Give them the credit. It, it looks good on their, um, the grades, it looks good, you know, on the curriculum load, but it helps them to know, 
I'm getting a two for here. This is fun and I'm getting credit for it. Some of the things I would give my child credit for is absolutely going on field trips. That was a credit. Whatever we did that I turned into learning, which was all the time, they absolutely got credit for that because they were putting a lot of effort into it and they were getting something out of it. So like I said, PE, think about your organized sports. If you know, um, let's say several homeschool families, get together, do some organized sports. Don't let it just be, oh, go play in the park and that's PE. That's not really, that's not, I wouldn't say that's excellence. It really needs to be something toward their physical education. Playing in the park is fun. And, and yes, you could, but try to think more toward their physical fitness. Um, we did tennis, we did badminton, we did, um, oh wow, we did so much that the kids just, they would learn something new. We did a semester where we did tennis and we did it once a week. So I counted that because we did it, we, we did it as, as to the best of our ability and the kids learned. A lot of times they didn't like it. We live in Florida, so it was hot. Swimming is really PE in Florida. That's, that's a good PE. But wherever you are, snowboarding or skiing, something like that, think about it. Um, woodworking. If you have a friend in the family that does woodworking and they're willing to teach your child to do woodworking, that's absolutely accredited class. Um, sewing, crocheting, knitting. These are all accredited classes that we would call, they would go under home ec. You can do home ec one, home ec two. So you're only limited again by your imagination. We want to keep it legal absolutely 100% all the time. But I want you to think about some of the classes they do in schools and they call them accredited classes. It's mind blowing. So again, your child deserves to have a wide, range of experiences in school, just not math, not science, not English, not history. Get them, get them out, get them doing stuff, get them motivated. Um, let's say you visit in a nursing home. That's community, that's community service. And you call that whatever you please, but they get credit for that. Um, and now listen, let's be honest. If you're doing something and your child, let's say there's a group of kids doing it and your child's standing in the corner, they don't get credit for it. They have to actually apply themselves. I was a hard teacher all the time, but there was a reason. There was a standard that, that had to be held up. Again, if you say we're counting PE, um, going to the park with a group of friends and your child sits on the bench, they don't get credit for that. And if you have to give them an F, give them an F and tell them that that's not acceptable. There is a standard, we must always be legal, but we almost, must always be excellent. So what are you doing to get your child out there, to give them a more well-rounded education? Um, I was trying to think of some more things. Choir, oh my gosh. If they're in choir at church, that absolutely counts. If they're in band, absolutely counts. Let's say they're in the local play um, theater, absolutely counts. Theater one, theater two, theater three, theater four, advanced theater, whatever you need to call it, to put it on that report card to make it right, do it. But again, don't close your mind to, I'm only homeschooling between nine o'clock and noon or, or 10 and two. You're doing homeschooling probably all day long. Remember, homeschooling is not a sprint. It's a marathon and we run it as a family. So go out and enjoy the adventure. Goodbye.